Okay, what we'd like to do right now is take a look at the other reaction that fatty acids can do. We already have seen that unsaturated fatty acids can do hydrogenation. The other reaction they can do, and this is probably a definitely more important reaction, they can combine with other fatty acids and a special molecule called glycerol, they can combine to make a fat molecule. Combining, of course, is condensation. So this is a condensation reaction. What you see here are three fatty acids. There's the fatty part of the molecule. There's the acid part of the molecule. The fatty part of the molecule, the acid part of the molecule. The fatty part of the molecule, the acid part of the molecule. Three fatty acids. And this is glycerol. Glycerol is an alcohol. You can see by the name it ends in OL. You can see the functional group OH, OH, OH. But it's not just a random alcohol. This is a very special alcohol. Three carbons, they each have an OH. That is the alcohol that's always used to make a fat. A fat is always, an energy lipid is always glycerol plus three fatty acids. And you should start noticing what's going to happen. We're going to box out water. We've done this lots of times. Organic functional group, organic functional group. They're pointing at each other, box out water, H and OH. Here's another H and OH. And here's a third, oops, H and OH. Three different uh, waters we can box out. And so we know that we will get three uh, water molecules produced. So I know that my product will have three, let's put that like that, will have three waters. We made three new uh, places where we need a bond. That O now is not bonded to H anymore, it needs a bond. This carbon is not bonded there anymore either. Those two will connect. We've seen this kind of reaction before, this is condensation. Nothing outside that box changes. So all I need to do is copy what I had before, except the H is gone, the H is gone, and the O is gone. So this O is still there, there it is. So is this one, so is this one. Those are still there. H is gone, H is gone, O is gone. So what's next? Right here, carbon double bonded to O. And then the rest of it, CH2, or seven of those. I see I have a double bond and so on. I'm just writing the rest of the molecule here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that. Slide it over. There's the rest of that molecule. I copied it just like it was. How about here? There's the carbon double bond O and then the rest of it. How about here? Same thing. I just slide the two pieces together. I'm getting a much bigger molecule now. You know that. You know that condensation is taking smaller molecules, combining them to make a bigger molecule. Sure enough, that's exactly what we've got. This is one single molecule. This is called a triacyl glycerol. This is the name we will use most commonly. That's the name a biochemist would use for this molecule. Someone in the medical field would use this word, triglyceride. Um, we might sometimes call it a simple lipid. Maybe we'll sometimes call it an energy lipid. That's what it is. And sometimes we'll, we'll refer to it by its simplest name of all, which is just fat. Fat is not the same as a fatty acid at all. Right, that's a separate molecule. It has the carboxylic acid functional group right there. This does not have a carboxylic acid functional group anymore. In fact, if you look carefully, you will see this, this new bond we made, that's an ester bond. That new bond is an ester bond because here's the ester, carbon double bonded to O, O carbon. 
It's not COOH, like carboxylic acid. This is an ester. We made an ester bond. Not a surprise. You already know that alcohol plus carboxylic acid makes an ester. Since we had three alcohols and three carboxylic acids, we get three new ester bonds, three of them. This big structure is called triacylglycerol, sometimes called a fat. Fat and fatty acids are not the same. Be very certain to get that. These are smaller. They're building blocks. This is bigger. This has carboxylic acid. This does not. Fatty acids, by the way, are not present in your food. Almost entirely any fat that's in your food um, is found as the actual fat molecule. You don't have loose, uncombined fatty acids in your food. You have the fat molecule, this thing, the triacylglycerol, triglyceride, and so on. So fatty acids can do condensation, and when they do, you get a fat. A fatty acid cannot, cannot undergo hydrolysis. We saw that before because it's as small as it can get in terms of it's a, it's a building block. It cannot be broken down uh, further. So this is condensation of fatty acids.